morning, everyone. It's 7.10 in the morning and I'm on my way to the hospital. This is for the second week of our introduction to internship course. So let's go and check out what's happening today at the hospital. Ah, I'll miss this when I move. Missing. A lot, a little. Seems to be a way. You're gonna have the person for two minutes. Treat it like you would an actual patient encounter. This is the patient you're gonna be seeing in the ED, okay? Um, after two minutes, we, you're gonna be prompted to then sign out to the next uh, teammate, okay? At which point you're kicked out of the room, okay? We have this patient who is unstable. Okay. This, when I first saw her a couple minutes ago, her vitals were stable, like 1.08. But after vomiting, she became unresponsive mm -hmm. and now unstable. In particular, uh, her blood pressure is dropping. <laughs> She's my daughter. We'll, we'll come talk to you after everything's stable, okay? Now is not the best After time. everything is stable? After what does that mean? Like, is everything not stable? Like, what does that mean? Oh, sir, so your daughter is experiencing very low blood pressure and we're very concerned right now, so we're going to need to step out so we can do what we have to do to take care of the patient, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> so, um, what is it? Okay. All right, case over. Oh. Okay. I hope you're okay. I feel better. <laughs> She died in the next 10 minutes. Oh my god! Like, what did you need to obtain? You gotta get access. You gotta make sure you get in line with these patients. Yeah. Super important. One of the most important things always. You can't do anything. can't give meds. Nothing without an IV. First step in the IV, what, what is it? Turn okay. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ass. Wow. 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 Like, I need a 20 gauge and a setup, please. There you go. I'm nervous. A little nervous. It's okay. I've done this before. I believe in you, though. You should be more nervous when I go. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> All right. Juicy veins. So nervous. A little bit tight. Pretty good. Oh. Oh, so you got out. Oh, okay. 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 Ooh, great man. Wow. Good job. Been working out. Uh, been working out? Yeah, I've been working out. <laughs> okay, you ready to go? Ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. I feel like I got everything except for the advancing. So I feel like I got everything. Hold on. For the angulation, can you just put uh, at the round table? No more this way. You next. What's this? <laughs> you may want to take your hands off. Okay. Don't worry, I don't have any communicable board. There we go. Slide. So be careful with your hands. I your hand. feel like one point though. Watch your hand, girl. I will. Watch your hand. <laughs> no need for you to feel after you. There you go. So now you, you advance a little bit. Nice, girl. Uh, I'm surprised I got the flash there. Yeah. The catheter, advance the catheter. Perfect. Once you've done advancing the catheter, hold pressure. Oh it was a pressure. I pressure. got you. Don't worry, girl. Full pressure. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Oh. All right. Now pull back. Damn, girl. Leave. Ooh. That's yeah. my blood. <laughs> I have that. I'll put it back. I'll put it back. Put it back. You good? Okay, we're good. Okay, good. Hold on. Let me get a gauze ready. Jesus. Can you take it off? 
Just the pipe pressure and take it out. Right? Feel a little bit of sandwich, feel a little salt in the mouth. Oh, yeah, a little yeah, bit. A little, right. Take it out. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Perfection. Yay. Oh, my pressure. I got pressure. Pressure. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was good. Are you okay? I'm proud of you. Do you want to do this one? I want to do it now. Okay. Thank you. And gauze, syringe, tourniquet. Okay, I'm gonna. Hello. Last time someone did it, they forgot to take off the tourniquet. Well, I will not forget. Okay. Well. Nice juicy boy right here. Yeah, I'm good. You like that? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't want to oh, yeah? get them. I'm so sorry. You gotta make it tight though. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And uh, as you practice, hopefully you're going to be able to listen. I can't do that. Listen and work at the same time. Mm -hmm. The, the, uh, well, let me walk around this like you. The space between sutures really depends upon the depth of the skin. Sutures should be closer together when the depth of the skin is thin. The thicker the skin, the more space you can have between sutures. And when you see the sutures, it should be almost like a box. So for example, if your sutures were, I'm going to use it five millimeters apart, let's say. If your sutures were So at the bottom there, there it says aorta. Mm. Your yeah. heart. <laughs> How's it look? Uh, it looks it's like it's moving, doing its thing. Um, so there is his mitral valve, and I'm just gonna fan a little bit. There's his aortic outflow tract, and up top is his, his right atria. So left ventricle is right over here, left atria is right over there, and the aortic, and I'm not gonna get a perfect picture, there you go. The aortic outflow tract, the, the left atrium and the right ventricle should look about a third, a third, a third here. One third, one third, one third. If it deviates from that, something is likely off. Okay guys, I'm back home now. It's been many, many hours and I'm exhausted. But thanks for coming with me on this sim day for introduction to residency week. Oh my God, I need to get some sleep. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Sure.